America, and partly it's a lot of the free money that the Fed and the Treasury are creating. And of course, if you don't have any rent or pay bills to pay because mom is paying your bills and, and cooking food for you, this this is part of that infantilization as well. So at the end of Empire, you have a lot of crazy stuff happen. You have giant babies wearing big baby diapers walking around, you know, leading the country. And Trump is the epitome of that. He's basically, he's like a dude that lives in his mother's basement. This uh, savings rate going up the way it is really goes completely against all the economic policies that are designed to stimulate American economic growth, right? Because American economic growth is all based on aggregate demand, and they employ Keynesianism to get to aggregate demand. Just go into debt as much as you possibly can to, to, to buy, to purchase, to be a consumer, to get the aggregate demand going. But with the pandemic, there is no pushing on a string. There's no way to create a supply chain. You can't print a supply chain. You can't print um, a job recovery the way you can print money. So people are not consuming because uh, the, the, we're entering in a, into a depression. And so as such, there's savings. And American economy is not built for savings. They have what's called the paradox of thrift. They call the savings glut, right? They vilify savings and saving is bad. But of all those people with savings now, if they converted 50, 60, 70, 100 percent into Bitcoin, then they could become individually sovereign and they would save themselves.